Hi there. I'm going to be presenting about Class Cake and giving a quick overview of the things that you can do with it and some ideas out on how to implement it when you're doing remote teaching. So what Class Cake is is a program that helps you, you can create your own uh, like slideshow, kind of like a Google slide, um, links, audio, videos, you can uh, link all of that inside. Students work on their devices. You can either do one-to-one, -one, you can do group settings. They can put drawings, text, images, audio. They answer the questions that you've created. Everybody can get feedback, not only the teacher, but also student to student, and you can do it anonymous, on, anonymously. Or you can even turn off the feature if you want them to complete it independently. The great thing about this is that you can see in real time what students are doing and you can stop or correct or uh, get feedback immediately. So this is a great, uh, this is what really sets Classic apart from other apps. Now, what we're going to do, and if you want to explore more, you can see exactly what the students are looking at. So you can see that Daniel is on B, is on this slide for card is on four and for example, Francis is falling a little bit behind and they raise their hand because they need help on that slide. So we're, today we're gonna go ahead and go into Class Kick. Uh, if you can create your own assignments like I did or you can use their assignments, uh, browse the assignment library. And for example, if you wanna do like a kindergarten grade, pre-K to second, there's, there's already a couple here that are second grade measurements, pre, present past tense, spelling tests, coin value. So here are a bunch that some teachers have already created and they've input into Class Kick. Uh, for this purpose, I'm just going to go ahead and create, use the one for uh, the PD. So I click on here. And I'm also going to show you that you can embed it into your own uh, your own LMS, whatever you're using, Google Classroom or Schoology or Canva. So once you assign a roster, um, if you do have Pro, like I do since I'm a Class Kit coach, I, I can import from Google Classroom. If you have the free version, you can't. But you are able to just copy and paste your students' names. Uh, for this purpose, I have a class code. So this would be something that I would use into my Google Classroom. Or you could just tell the students to code for the day. For the, I'm going to go ahead and copy this one. And here I've embedded it into my LMS, which is Schoology. If you want a tutorial for this, go ahead and go back on my YouTube channel. And here I'm going to press the class, class code. I'm going to put my name and or I can always log in with Google. Now here I can add instructions and just add, a, you know, please use code, you know, to make sure that the students are actually putting in the right one. And I can go right here, display in line, save changes. So here I am, uh, the students can just go ahead and copy here, correct, and press Jessica. So here in your LMS, if you embedded it correctly, the students are able to use the toolbar as so, and this is the only thing that they can see. They have a hand raise feature, excuse me, and we can go into our, our bigger version. So this is what the teacher version would look like. I can see their hand raised. I can see if I'm going to give them grades or not, if they have helpers. So students at some point can help each other anonymously. So they'll it'll say like, like um, crazy cow or goofy giraffe. And if I don't want that feature, I can just turn it off. Next, I have hide. So the students can't see, I can just hide a certain assignment if I'm not ready for them to see it yet. And this feature is called lock. This one, students can view an assignment, but they cannot make any changes to the assignment. So this is great for when I'm talking and I don't want students to work ahead. And of course, the class code right here. Now, while they're while the students are working on the LMS, right, they're going through. I am going to see in real time what everybody else is doing. See, 
if I just want to see one cert, uh, if I just want to see one certain slide, I can. Um, another great thing about this is that when I'm going into, if I made a mistake on my master, it'll update it in real time for the student. So all I have to do is press the refresh button. Uh, let's say the, the this is great for all learners. For all, uh, it's very inclusive, especially if you have students um, in this in you know special education, of special uh, students who are in uh, who are ELL, e, EL English learners, um, students that need a little bit more practice with sensory, like kindergartners, first grade, and second grade. So here, Classic has the ability to add manipulatives. And you can move them around, and so the students can physically count like they would with their, uh, with their fingers. No, here you would add on your master copy the fill in the blank, and then you add the acceptable answers, or you could do the same with the multiple choice. You can change the background, and you can change colors. You can change photos. Now the great that you can have, they already have some grid, gridables here, papers, a Venn diagram, uh, some, some graphic organizers. The great thing about this is that I can import my own background and I can em embed a PDF if I need to. So here I'm going to go and look for a PDF that I already have. So I'm just going to go ahead and put, uh, let's say my resume for now, right? And this actually will be made like a photo so that students can go ahead and just add or fill in or complete the worksheet. Uh, so then, and then here you would give directions. You can add a text box, a link, a recording for yourself, explaining how to proceed. So this is great for students uh, who need oral admin. You can just go ahead and provide the 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 written a question and you can speak the written question and students can speak back so here i i'm going to have the students record your name where you are from what you love most about school they're going to click on the audio button and they will start recording right there on the spot if they are doing it with now again class kick refreshes every about a minute or so i would say um, if I needed to go faster, I can just press refresh and then on my, it'll show on my masters. And then the students, when they're done recording, they would raise their hand here at the top and I would get that notification. So I know I can go check their recording. This is why this is a great tool to use for, uh, in, uh, for the English proficiency exam that we have in my state. And of course, uh, making sure that you have the tips and everything you need to set up your own account. If I missed anything, please let me know. This uh, class kick is a great way to embed in your existing LMS for whole group or small group instruction. I will, don't know if I would recommend class kick to turn in work. That's where your LMS comes in. But for practice and for, uh, for that guided uh, instruction, class kick is your solution.